I'm going to start out this astrological aspect series with Sun and aspect of Pluto. Because this is one of my favorite ones, actually. Um, you obviously, if your Sun is an aspect of Pluto, that can go many ways. You can either have a conjunction, an opposition, a square, a sextile, a trine. Any of those are fair game. I'm not going to necessarily touch on each one of those, but I am going to talk about what it's like when your Sun is an aspect of Pluto. With your sun's energy being that of your ego, you have this ego drive, which is meshed together kind of with Plutonian energy. Pluto being transformation, rebirth, um, the ability to really penetrate and see beyond the facade, see what lies beneath. Much like a Scorpio will unearth, people with their sun in aspect of Pluto will also unearth. In life, um, they will be able to read people almost instinctively, like it won't even be hard for them. They will just see through people's facades. With the sun aspect of Pluto, though, it's kind of cool because the sun's energy being the ego, your ego is going to be driven by this desire to transform. With the positive aspects, this can go incredible ways. If you have like a trine or a sextile, you're just going to be able to transform via the power of your ego, your sun's energy. Um, it can get a little bit trickier if you have like the square or the opposition. You might have to work a little bit harder for transformation, but the traits are going to be similar. They might just be a little bit more murky in comparison to the positive aspects. Sun conjunct Pluto, people should seriously probably get the hell out of your way. <laughs> you are going to be a powerful life force. With the sun in aspect to Pluto, or in conjunction with Pluto, your sun's energy is just boosted to an even bigger extreme, and Pluto is really radiating out of you, out of your being. Pluto, wherever it touches in your birth chart, it just adds intensity and power to whatever placement it is an aspect with. So with a conjunction, um, especially if like you're in my generation, most people with the conjunction are going to be Scorpio suns. You are going to be just that much more Scorpio, just that much more controlled and powerful and intense. And it's going to radiate throughout your ego. You're at the center of your being. You are going to be able to really focus on the aspects of death and rebirth and how you can go further in life with them. You're going to have a very powerful drive to you. Um, even with like a Scorpio sun who might be a little bit more quote unquote submissive or controlled, mm -hmm. it's still going to amp up that Scorpio energy and really give you the desire to uh, get to the bottom of things <laughs> and do so on your own, on your own accord, on your own, mm -hmm. with your own personal power being involved. Um, sun aspects of Pluto are very cool. You may have had a, if, especially for a positive aspect, your uh, male uh, paternal figure may have been a very powerful influence on your life. I've been told many times that sun aspect of Pluto, especially the more positive aspects, are um, they just have this way of being kind of saved due to their ability to really project that power outward. Also, your, the status of your Pluto will make a difference in this. If your Pluto is Rx, you're going to feel this change more inward. Whereas if your Pluto is direct, it's going to be a more outward thing. Um, Pluto energy is going to be more on display in your ego, kind of. Uh, if it's Rx, you're going to use that transformative power inward more so. So people might not see it as much, but they're still going to feel that strong drive within you. Um, so yeah, that would be the sun in aspect to Pluto.